Jonathan in Flemington, New Jersey writes to me, why do manufacturers make amps a certain wattage when the listener doesn't fully need all the watts to drive their speakers? In order to utilize all those watts that the amp is rated for, the volume would have to be turned up to the maximum, and this would certainly damage the speakers. I completely agree. To say nothing of how it would damage our hearing. Well, it's is a, a new question, but an old topic and subject that we've been through before. Probably worth going through again. Very few amps on the market today are using anywhere near their rated wattage in order to play on your speakers. Take our amplifiers. We have, or just take the Stellar line. You have the Stellar 300, you've got a 700 watt, you got a 1200 watt. Now those are monoblock amplifiers, the, the 7 and the 12. I just wrote a post about this the, uh, the other day. Somebody said, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. If you have a 15 amp 120 volt AC line, which is what most of us have, if you just plug into the wall, and you plug two 1200 monoblock amplifiers, that's what, 2400, 2500 watts? And if you just do 120 volts times 15 amps times volts equals watts, as we remember, you're what, 1800, what is that, 1800 watts? That doesn't make sense. How do you how do you play 2,500 watts worth of amplifiers on an 1,800 watt circuit without kicking the breaker? Well, because you're never ever getting even remotely close, <coughs> excuse me, to the maximum wattage. So why do people like manufacturers like us build big amps? Headroom and linearity. So in any piece of electronics, there's a very small region that is linear, but without feedback, without anything. A true linear region that doesn't start going off like this into the weeds. And that 10%, 20%, depending on the circuit, and that's where you want, that's the sweet spot of the amplifier. Sometimes it's because we're into the class A region, sometimes there's a whole bunch of different reasons. But the less we work an amplifier that's properly designed, the more ease and dynamic effortlessness we're going to get in our system. When we have smaller amplifiers working harder, it's going to be, well, it's not gonna sound as good. It will not sound as effortless. It will not sound as dynamically rich without any kind of cons conscript uh, conscription. We're going to the army. <laughs> Constriction uh, to the sound, and that's what we're looking for, right? So when I play stellar M1200 amps, there's a gloriousness to the sound that is just, it's like it could go on forever, and no matter how loud the orchestra gets, no matter how loud the band plays, it's like there's nothing changing. And that happens for the same reason that when you have a big motor in a car, it feels rather effortless to go slow or quick. You don't notice any difference. If you have a tiny motor in a big car and you step on the gas and it goes, and you notice it, right? But a big motor in a small car, you step on the gas, or my electric car, zoom, it just goes. It's effortless. And that is what we're looking for. And that is why we recommend amps that are far bigger than you will ever use because we want an effortlessness to the sound. All right?